Betrayed by a woman in a red dress, bank robber John Dillinger met his end under a hail of FBI bullets at Chicago's Biograph Theater in 1934. At least that's what most historians think. Nash vs. CBS involves an author with an alternative theory of Dillinger's life and his efforts to protect his intellectual property from television scriptwriters. John Robert Nash was convinced that Dillinger hadn't died in Chicago. He published four books in which he outlined his hypothesis that Dillinger had known about the ambush and sent a lookalike to be killed in his place. Nash cited physical discrepancies between Dillinger's body and the corpse, suggesting that the FBI had engaged in an elaborate cover-up to conceal the failure of its sting operation. In Nash's account, Dillinger had moved to California and lived to a ripe old age. In 1984, CBS broadcast an episode of its detective drama, Simon and Simon, entitled The Dillinger Print. In this show, the detective brothers investigate the murder of a retired FBI agent who had expressed doubts that Dillinger had been shot in Chicago. A masked bank robber in 1930s shoes with a gun that once belonged to Dillinger made regular appearances. The episode concluded with the suggestion that an old man living in San Diego might actually be Dillinger. Nash sued CBS for copyright infringement, arguing that the network had used his version of Dillinger's escape and relocation to the West Coast. The district court held that only Nash's presentation and exposition were copyrighted, and that the historical events were not. The court granted CBS summary judgment. Nash appealed to the Seventh Circuit. 